Hey, thanks for checking out this video. This is a uh, kind of a run through on the product listing page on the new Three Wheeler World Parts Shop. A uh, quick overview on what all is new and what kind of features we have there. Uh, start off right here at the top. Uh, this section right here is what they call breadcrumbs, and basically, this is like a little link uh, hierarchy of where you're at in the categories of products. So, we're under the custom pipe product page, it's listed under new parts. And then you have the home page, just kind of an easy way, you know, if somebody lands on this page from a search engine uh, or they're just linked to it by somebody, a friend or whatever, it's kind of a way to see and find back uh, where you're actually at in the category and the listing, you know, find it again. Um, got your uh, description area over here, uh, price of course and stuff. Uh, also have an add to wish list uh, option now, which is kind of neat and new, something that's a... Uh, a lot of the big like corporate uh, shopping carts and stuff like that use basically allows you to, to build a, a wish list of products you can save for later you know if you're at uh, the computer at three o'clock in the morning you know kind of going through and adding stuff to a build list for future use or whatever um, it'll basically save all those products to a list and you can come back and check it out later on and, and pay for it it's pretty cool um, got some social media links and stuff here you know you can like it and share it on uh, Facebook, Twitter, which I, I don't really use, but it's there. Uh, Google Plus, if people are still using that. Um, also still got uh, pictures, really nice, high quality, high resolution. Uh, photo display was important to me, kind of, I'm a half-assed photographer. Um, it was important to me to, to make an upgrade on that from the, uh, the old shop. Uh, get nice, high quality pictures there for, for people's products. Um, this section down here is there was a lot of time and effort put into this basically you've got a couple different tabs here and I'm going to start with basically the, the specifications tab and that's kind of what is um, automatically open when you go to product page all these fields and forms here are custom basically made attributes to the store that I came up with that I think are specifically for people you know wanting to list and sell or buy three wheeler products would find useful um, and there's in the seller area where you list products there's a lot more of these but just certain things like fitment year and there's um, boxes you know you can check what specific year it is that it fits and then these uh, products are actually sortable by this criteria so when you're searching for something you know you can go to the 250R category and then hit another box and you only search for 85 and 86 products and you're not where you're not getting first gen or second gen parts or vice versa and that will work with any of the categories it's listed in um, there's a field here for OEM part number you know if it's a reproduction part or replacement uh, that would be there and again there's a whole host of these um, in the seller listing area um, that you know people can can fill in the link to the through door forum thread I was thought was kind of a cool idea you know if you've got a product that um, you know you worked on and kind of brought the market and did your R&D and stuff you can paste in a link to the board there and it'll actually, um, you know, basically load up the the thread for people to kind of see where you came in and did all your work and stuff on it. So that was pretty cool. Um, next tab here is reviews, and this is a uh, a way for customers and people that have bought the product to write a little review for you on what uh, you know their uh, results were and uh, getting it and using it. Um, they are basically process mainly they have to be approved before they're posted so you're not going to get like spam posts or anything like that to worry about which is uh, always a good thing um, there's also a shipping calculator that's based on the criteria that is put in whenever the product is listed so I can just hit get rates for United States and it loads and tells me it's seller's choice shipping and costs 25 bucks to ship this um, formatting here is a little bit we're working on that still but it, it all works and functions obviously um, seller info is pretty neat. This is a kind of a, a new thing also. Um, for every product that's listed on the store, there is a seller info tab, and it kind of gives you a little bit of information here about the, uh, the the seller of the of the product. And you've also got a uh, contact them button that opens up a window here, and you can type a message and send. This is then delivered to the seller, um, very similar to how private messages on the forums. Uh, they'll get an email notifying them they've been sent a message with the content and then you log in and reply to you know people have a question about can they 
get a variation in this or whatever you know whatever you would need to be contacted for or contact a seller and ask questions on um, you can do that you can also um, click here on the uh, seller's name and we've got a pretty cool little page here that um, kind of gives you an overview of them lists uh, some of their products you can <clears throat> click this button and that'll show all their products they have listed um, you can hit this button again and it gives you the same little contact box that you had on the uh, previous product listing page there's also a uh, form here if you want to leave a comment kind of to the seller um, you know you could say something like uh, this is a great guy I've bought and sold a lot of stuff with him whatever whatever uh, also those are uh, manually approved so again you don't have to worry about um, spam and stuff like that going on um, so that's pretty much a uh, overview of what the uh, product page is like um, again there's been a um, lot of changes and stuff here this this particular area spent a lot of time on um, laying out exactly how I thought would work best um, for people and just like um, the front page fully responsive uh, you can go down to just a little tiny size window everything still works and functions um, allowing it to work great on uh, different mobile devices and stuff so again very important feature uh, that uh, you know I wanted to basically have this thing designed where guys can be in the garage working on their bikes whip out their cell phone and come on here and basically look for and order the parts like without ever having to go to a real computer and that was my goal in working on this.